Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Diary of a What Noob with me, Dwybo. We're going to have a look at the Panzer II right now. So, here we are. Small little tank, flat cannon. It's got on the tier 1 gun it comes with 111 rounds per minute, 23 pen, 11 average damage. The accuracy is awful, the aim time is reasonable, but again we're going to have to really get up quite close to make use of this little gun. We've got some decent hull armour though, which makes a nice change after the BTs. Speed is not bad power to weight ratio isn't bad either so we should be able to accelerate okay hull traverse isn't great again we're running everything stock as most people would be on this tank view range okay I suppose turret traverse is good though as always leavened by the brand new crew I've got in there we've whacked on the bins and the camo net as per usual so let's see, oh no we need to really equip some shells, it's nice that reminds us, so let's just whack everything onto auto as we go. And we've got some shells and we can go in now. So we really want to sort of run and gun it rather than snipe, so isn't it a good job we've got a snipey map in Malinovka? Never mind, we'll go up for the hill I think. We could uh, bush scout from one of these bushes over here on about F5 or so, but view range isn't brilliant, especially with my brand new commander. We could go over the far side and bush scout from the other side of the lake. Again, view range is a bit of an issue. We'll be outspotted by most of the tanks on their side, I should think. We can't really sit here and snipe. We could actually hover around these barricades with our high gun. We can shoot over the barricades quite nicely. Let's just give that a go for starters and see what happens. We might as well find out if we can do it from these guys down here. Let's see, what we can do is drive up, switch into sniper mode. All we can see is grass because I've still got the grass turned on. But most of it we're actually over the top of, you can see, we've got a line on everything. So we'll sit here for a moment and we'll just have a go at this BT. They're hit. Penetration. They're hit. Enemy yeah. hit. We got a few strikes there, just wait for the reload, which is quite a few seconds. That T we can't get because we got a bolt uh pole in the way. He's going to run behind the shed now, so we've got no shot on him anyway and we can't penetrate according to the indicator. So we'll just hang on here for a few moments more. He's actually too well armoured from the front. Uh, we've got a cruiser coming down the lake and a medium on the far side. Can we get that medium from here? God, I think no, we're too low. I've got a feeling there may be a range limit on this anyway. We can't do anything about that T-18. I'm surprised they think they can. Perhaps their guns are that much better than mine. There's a medium there that we could have had a pop at. But he's going to be in cover by the time I get round to him. So, let's take a bit of a move over to the other side. Was that medium? Again, you see, I'm not showing any penetration on that. I don't know if that's a range issue. 350 metres would seem a reasonable range for this gun. And that could be just too far. Well, we're very slow to turn in the marshy ground. Look, that's something to watch out for. Their PZ-2 has gone, which is lucky, because I didn't really fancy meeting him. He's probably more upgraded than me. Actually, haven't done that. No, we are too slow to go to marshy route. That's just a daft idea. So let's back it up. Got that medium on the far side. Again, we've got no penetration indicator on him, but it is a long range. I haven't really got time to go all the way around the top. So this could be a bit of a silly move. 
but we'll have a go along here. We'll follow that 35. Oh, it really does slow down when you try and turn on this ground. Don't have a shot on him. He's too heavily armoured anyway. We can try and make the most of our low profile. Sticking to the side of this slope. Sneaking our way round. Those guys on our left won't be of much help to me until they get rid of the tank that's bothering them in the woodland. Most of the enemies seem to be over that far side. Oh, I don't want to acquire a target. I do still keep doing that. Now there was a guy down here, so we just need to be careful of him. There he is. We'll push up here for the moment. He's gone. We'll hit a reload as we back off down the slope. Somebody took him out. Uh, we're taking fire from over there. They know where I am. Luckily, we, oh, he knows where I am. I'm not far enough down the slope to avoid him. Which is a surprise. You'd think I was. So we'll just ease our way back up into this bush again. Let the camo kick in and the binos, and see if we can spot that bloke. 7-3, there's no rush. That 26, again I'm getting a non-pen, but it is a long range. Penetration. We'll just carry on waiting for a moment. There's two over there we know of. Uh, s we've just had one disappear over there, I think. Whether he was shot or whether he's moved out of radio range. Got a decent enough range on this. You'd think I'd be okay. So let's move on a little bit further. We'll take the rest of our team with us as we go. A bit worried about where the guy on my left was and what got rid of him. But we'll let the cruiser take point. We're not. Oh, it's so slow to turn on the marshy ground. Look at that, it's awful. I just keep going in a straight line, I think. Let our turret do the turning. They're knocked out. Punch right through their armor. Hit a quick reload as we go across the dash. There's only three left. One of them's down there. I think he's front on to me, though, so... No, he's side, side on to all of us. I'm slotting in the track, but that's about it. So, we'll push up. I'm just wondering if the remainder are over here by these sheds where they sometimes hide out. This is very slow to turn. It wasn't just marshy ground. It's slow to turn in general. Now something was doing the killing over there, so it's quite possible that that's where they are. So I'm going to get over to this side a bit. Take a bit of a swing towards these bushes. I reckon they are over there somewhere just a question of where and then we shall just wait here and see what happens get some cap points all of which will help us on the upgrades campity camp and there he is but that's too far for me to do much about and there's a tractor in the way anyway We'll just book a win. So there we go. Panzer II. Decent enough amount of XP. Possibly enough to go straight on to the next one. I'm surprised at how slow that was to turn. But that's becoming very much a feature with stock tanks. Their turning speed is 
greatly under what their stats would suggest. So that'll either be enough to go straight on to the next or we'll play a couple of games and then show you it fully elited and so on. So back in a bit. It'll take a few more games to elite the Panzer II because there's the looks, the 3A and the vest ball running off it, plus we've got this expensive radio. But we've got everything but the radio upgraded now. We'll be coming back to that later as we play. But for now, let's have a look at probably the last of the new acquisitions, and it's the French Hotchkiss, the H35. Again, we're going to take this out of stock with a brand new crew. We haven't got enough capacity to load the camo net as well as the binos. So we'll take that as it is for the moment. We'll, we could upgrade the tracks with the free experience, but let's play it as most of us would for a tier 2 tank and take it out as it is. So we won't upgrade anything else at all. It is going to be slow low engine power to the weight, low speed limit anyway, hull traverse is slow, turret traverse is slow and as always with our poor crew that will not help. What we have got though is armour and masses of it. If I'm right there's a big weak spot there but otherwise that front is pretty bouncy, probably one there looking at it where the commander would sit. So ideally we want to keep that covered, show this bit, have the turret round, or maybe it goes kind of this way on, that's probably another weak spot. Otherwise we're kind of 40 mil all round and there's some slopes and some bounce there. So probably we're not going to get too much gun dispersion if we're moving. So keep it moving so it makes the weak spots harder to hit as we move and let the armour do the rest. That's the theory. Let's see how it works in practice. And of course we get a snipey map. Joy Rapture. Now if this was somewhere like Himmelsdorf we'd be happy happy. It's not. So we'll just have to do the best we can with what we've got. We've almost got enough armour to go and sit in the castle and take the heat. There's no TDs on their side. It would be the TDs that I'd be most worried about, I think. Um, the British ones have got some decent penetration. So is that 35T. The Panzer II's autocannon and the 1E6 will bounce a lot of. The Tetrarch, I think, has got quite decent penetration. Uh, let's see. We've got good gun depression with this gun, anyway. But that probably means it's not a very good gun, because it'll have a short breach. I didn't actually look at the penetration stats, that was silly of me, I should have checked that before we went out. Are we short? Ah, uh, that 38 is going to be difficult. He's basically me, only upgraded version of me at the moment. So he's going to have just as good armour and a better gun and probably a better crew. Let's see what this gun is like though. It takes a long time to aim. Not desperately accurate at the 300 meter range, but what do you expect? <laughs> but we hit him on a mover, so that was quite good. Right, they're all piling down that way. And we hit him as well. Again, not much damage. He's gone behind a house now. That's interesting. They've just kind of piled over there. I think what I'm going to do is work one more down. This could put me in a somewhat compromised position, but we'll see. We get a bit hull down there and s slot them as they come through that gap. Is that someone shooting past me? Yeah. We've got them pretty tied down over there from the look of it. Ah, blind shot against where he was and he was still there, that's nice. 
And again, stock tank, first battle, a kill. We could go for his turret. He's almost showing me that weak spot that I've got. But really, I'm not accurate enough with this crew and gun to take advantage of it. So we'll just back up for a moment. Wait till somebody shows. We're 7-1 up. We could make a move and try and push him. But uh, there's no rush. He's spotted me. He's having a shot. So we'll back off. Let the armour take the strain. We're fairly well covered there. Probably do it being back. Ah! He's gone. See, that's what I was saying about I'd be scared of the tank destroyers because our Panzer Jaeger just cut through him. I suppose these days I also need to be scared of people Target using. Oh, well, didn't mean to do that. Also scared of people using premium ammo. Okay, there's somebody up the top there, so let's start the wiggle routine until we can get into some kind of range to spot him. There he is. And now we're lighting him up. Hopefully our team can do the damage. We'll spam a shell in that direction. And we've got someone over there. Oh, he is actually carving through me. I'm just wondering if he's far enough up that he's negating any slope I've got. Where was he hitting me? No, he's... There you go. Driver's hatch as well. So... Obvious weak spot. Meanwhile, we've pushed across. We've got him lit up. Whether that's actually me or whether it's the guys on the other side spotting him because he's firing at... Where did that come from? Okay, there's a Tetrarch over there somewhere, I think. I don't know where that came from. But you've got to think he's over there. Yeah, there he is. And he set my engine on fire, which is why I died so quickly. Hmm. Well, that should be a wrap anyway. 11-4. There's the three that are too far away to defend their base. It'll take them a while to get back. And that Tetrarch, who's just about to go. So I think we'll let that play out and come back to the results screen. Well, we won 14-5 by a cap in the end. I was right about the Tetrarch being one of the tanks I'd have to look out for. How prophetic that was. Shame I didn't look out for him, really. But still, we got some XP. We did a little bit of damage. We came halfway down the table. We did a very little bit of damage. <laughs> In fact, that one bit of damage was probably enough to get me a kill. And some damage upon detecting. So, not bad. Probably not the smartest move to go straight across the middle there. So one to bear in mind for the future, too slow and of course when they're shooting down on me a lot of that slope is instantly taken away. We'll remember that for the future but otherwise it's what we expected. Slow tank, weak gun and I dare say that'll get better as we improve it just like the others do. So for a stock, not bad. We did seem to bounce a fair few shots in fact. Let's just have a quick look at that. Uh, six. So it took six, and three of those were damaging, so we bounced 50%. Not brilliant. Not brilliant, but then I have to, I'll have to learn how to position this one and angle it to make the most of that armour. And, of course, avoid tetrarchs. So we'll come back to that again when it's fully upgraded. Until then, ta-ra! Thank you.